What's up guys, Moritz here from Section Store. Today I'm going to be showing you how you can install this age restriction section for your very own Shopify store. To give you a little demonstration of it, I'm going to reload this page. So that's the age restriction model which is going to pop up for every new user, which is going to enter the stage and it's going to prevent users from explicit content for special pages they shouldn't be on. So if they're actually below 21, they're going to click on exit and going to get redirected to another website. But if it's the case and they're eligible to open up the website, they just click on enter and the website is usable for them. Alrighty, let's jump right into it. Close that one up. So to download the whole store and the app, you're going to go to the Shopify app store, look for section store, theme sections, and add the app to your collection app. to access the app. You go back to the Shopify admin area where you're going to look for a section store underneath apps and that is going to open up to get access of the age restriction app. We're going to click on sections right here. And after that loaded up, we can simply use the search bar right here and look up age restrictions. There we have it. For this tutorial, I've already downloaded the section so I can show you how it looks like in the demo store. But in your case, you have to pay a one-time fee of $9. It's a yeah, one-time only charge. You don't have any hidden subscription fees. And if you bought it once, you're going to own it forever. After you successfully downloaded that, you're going to head back to the home area where you can find the age restriction section right here. Before you can use it, you actually have to add it to your light theme, which is the dawn light theme in uh, my example. And after that is done, simply open up the theme editor right up here. And yeah, here we have it already. That's the one you saw in the tutorial. I'm going to remove it for this video. So to add a new section, we're going to click right underneath here and then look up SS and type in H restriction, SS section store. There we have it. Sweet, we're gonna pull it right on top of everything and then click on the section itself to actually make it visible in the section store or in the theme editor, you have to click on always pop up. So it's gonna reload right here. And every time we click on save, we can actually see it. So I'm going to select a new image, kind of pick a little alert, and then we click on save. And maybe give it a little re ah, there we have it already. Perfect. Okay, there you can see it. But to actually change it up a little bit, we can do certain changes here. We can uh, be doing it for countries in Europe, so it's 18 plus, you must be 18 years old or younger, enter this page, then you can uh, tweak around with the image aid a little bit. There on the second one, you see the second text and the button to enter the actual page, and you have the exit button, which can uh, directly link you to a different page for users which are not allowed to enter the whole thing. You can also change the, the background color so we can save it up right here to actually get a visual feedback of how it looks like. So within a second, we should see our changes and I'm just going to walk you through all the different customizations options we're having right here. You can just play around a little bit and yeah, just do it for however you want to have it. We have the heading color as well. Let's just change that for the sake of this video. So you can see it right here in a second. And yeah, after you're happy with all the changes you've done to the whole thing, we're going to save it up and have a look at it in our live store. So let's let it save. Perfect. Set and done. And then we want to have a few edits. Perfect. Here you can see the customization options worked as well. And the whole thing is functional. We're going to click on enter to access the page. I can also show you here on the exit thing. 
it's gonna directly link you to a different page. We selected Google in this case, but yeah, that was it. I hope you liked it and found this useful. If there are any questions, just write it in the YouTube section.